Uh, Mr. Marchant. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Miller, I would like to explore the new concept uh, to the IRS of the household income. Uh, since it's a brand new concept and it's not, is it a legal is it a legal concept to the IRS at this point? It's in the statute itself. It's defined in, in the statute. So it is a, a statutory provision. And has the IRS made preliminary bindings on um, what constitutes a household? So I think we have. I think the statute sets it out. The statute basically says um, modified adjusted gross income, which basically is off of your tax return. The only twist to that is uh, you have to add in uh, for your family size, where you are taking a dependent, and that dependent is filing a tax return, that dependent's income has to be added in as well. That's, only the, that's the only real difference, and very few people are in that category, Congressman. Uh, will, is it the IRS that will be the final person who decides what constitutes that household unit, or will it be the exchanges? So I believe, um, if I'm understanding the question, that the IRS will be providing the exchange with information on um, any dependents that are filing a, a, a tax return uh, in that unit. So if, if you have uh, two people unmarried living under the same roof, each having a child, and will that constitute a household, and which of the tax returns will be the main tax return that will constitute, that, that will uh, apply to the exchange. So I think it will be driven. I'll, get, I'll come back in writing if, I'm, if, if they tell me I'm wrong on okay. this, Congressman. But um, I, I, it's going to depend on who is taking whom as a dependent, because the household is that individual who has some people being taken, who's taking some people as a dependent on their return. Um, and so I don't know in a given situation whether uh, the, the two unmarried folks are, are have a dependency relationship in that, in that respect or not, or whether the children do or not, but it really is going to depend. The definition of household income is your modified adjusted gross income subject to some, some foreign provisions and tax-exempt interest um, and the income from those who you have taken on your return as a dependent, provided that that dependent has filed a tax return. So that if you had two adults living in the same household that didn't claim, uh, that filed separate tax returns, will that be considered, would, would a married couple filing separate tax returns be constituted as a household? Uh, well, I, you know, so I'll answer the, the question a different way, okay. which is a, if you are married under ACA to get the premium tax credit, you must, be, you must file married filing jointly. That's an eligibility requirement for the credit. Okay, so, uh, and so you can have, so the physical living together, it has no, no part of the definition of, of household. It is, it is simply, it's defined based by virtue of the IRS code, purely. Well, so the physical, the physical proximity might have uh, an impact on the dependency claim on the tax return. Again, it ties off to whether you're a dependent on that person's return. So for the first time ever, though, the, the IRS will, it'll be their job to compile this and and, and go through a separate step and, and define household income? Well, the only separate step, again, Congressman, is including the income from a dependent who is filing a tax return. And to be quite frank, you should have a general feel for uh, what that income is if you're taking that person as a dependent because that's part of the test of taking that person as a dependent. So much of that, if not all of that, discussion should be occurring already. And has this, heretofore, all of this information has been passed to the states and HHS basically on an individual basis. Uh, 
uh, an individual tax return basis. Rather than as a household. I don't know the answer to that one, Congressman. I apologize. Okay, so will the states get more information about households and IRS returns than and will there be more people at the state level be able to view more information about a person's IRS um, income and IRS status than they ever have before? Um, to the extent that the exchanges are using this for eligibility purposes, then those are new purposes and, and probably new people that are taking a look at that data. Okay. Thank you.